Hey everyone, we're back with our Builder of Tempo Wayland deck up against Leela. This opening hand is somewhat okay. We have Agenda a little earlier than we might like. We have Prysac, which could be pretty good. Uh, Ice Wall, which can be advanced, and we have a Snare, so we can kind of punish them. Uh, this is our second game against this person. Uh, the first game we kind of got blown out of the water by being a little risky. Maybe this game has gone up, maybe not. Depends on how I'm feeling on the day. Um, but yeah, we did push a little too soon against uh, Gang Sign, HQ Interface, DDoS, Inside Job, all those clever tricks and trick, uh, clever tricks and traps that we just fell into. So the purpose of this deck is to rush quick, but Leela will put a bit of a kibosh on that, um, and hopefully we can put them in a bad position where there aren't very many good decisions to make. Uh, drawing into agendas much, much earlier than we'd like to. Hopefully we can find ice. Nope, instead, more agendas. Um, okay then. So, I think we put this on HQ. Try and protect ourselves somewhat. I'm just going to take a credit instead of popping the beanstalk. Because you want to you want to dilute things as much as possible. I mean, three agendas in hand is not great odds, but... You never know, we might be able to steer clear. Okay, beanstalk. Okay, I guess we're cracking for economy then. And they have a Gordian down, so that's not going to get through our ice walls at least, but we do have quandaries and things like that. Suddenly they're coming out all the breakers. A very different approach that they're taking this time. Same as ourselves, I suppose. So, shadow. Of course, this deck doesn't run a Jackson, so we're kind of just um, banking on being able to draw into something, some piece of ice that we can just uh, get things set up and get moving. The logos, of course, means that if we try try and score something good, hmm, let's put that in a new remote. It is expensive for mongoose. Um, let's draw. We can try and put a snare behind here. Changeling's good as well. Hmm. So unfortunately it doesn't prevent the inside job. Because we can't currently use the archer. We've drawn every agenda but the hostile. Well, no, we haven't got a global food yet, but I shouldn't have jinxed it because it's probably on the way now. And there's the gang sign, so we can't even really afford to score. But we can't afford not to score because we don't play Jackson. So, I think we have to go for this. We're going to install advance advance. And who knows, maybe they'll land themselves into a snare? Which would be pretty alright for us. Hmm. Lawyer up. Interesting. And just Katie. Okay, so. We can score out here. Uh, we're just going to go for four, I think. We have plenty of money, we can score this and we can get something, a piece of ice or whatever, back where it needs to be. Oh, they have Joan Bug. Okay, well, that might keep them honest as well. So, Archer is enabled if we want it to be, but we would prefer not to be using it for this. And just the ice wall. So when to go in this deck is usually pretty good, but against Leela it uh, causes problems unless you get the ice behind it raised. 
because otherwise you could suddenly find it on the inside and then it's pretty much no good to you. There's the New Angeles City Hall. So can they get in here? They need to get their barrier breaker down. Uh, maybe worth just trying to go for the push here. Stall advance. Advance? Now remember they did DDoS us the last time. So it may be worth not pushing so fast this time. Forget this onto scoring server. Uh, this onto R and D, and we draw a last click, which is a terrible idea. But we draw into the hostile, so we're well set up. We can score this out, and that could be good for us. It means the archer is enabled, puts us in a stronger position. To Mujin, nice. So their money woes are well and truly over now. And we draw to the sea source slightly too late. Okay, um... Let's go for the score. Yeah, I'd prefer to score things on my terms. We can't clear out our hand, so, you know, we gotta make do while they only have the one gang sign and while they only have the one axis, they don't have HQ interface, that kind of thing. And they hit the snare, so let's do that. We hit DDoS, DDoS, Plaskrete, fantastic. And now with the bounce, we're back to five cards in hand, so no choice over uh, what we need. And now we can just put atlases in here and try and score them out that way. Hitting another breaker would have been nice, but can't have it all. And with a plascrete in the bin, they have to be a little more careful. HQ interface. Okay. Another snare. And I'm reasonably confident we can keep him out. Interesting. So now we have three scorches. We just have to be able to land the tag. So do that. We can stick this onto archives. And let's advance this once. And let's get rid of, I suppose we'll get rid of wind, Wendigo. And do we get rid of Scorch? How do we tag them? I'm gonna have to wait for them to steal an agenda, which isn't ideal. So I think we'll go for one Scorch, because we can't afford to throw this out. And maybe if they access the snare that we can just hit him that way. Okay, they're just going to start fisking us <laughs> over and over again. Uh, 
now. We can score this out. Gets rid of the source. Well, they have the option to, to prevent that. We're just going to inside job R&D. So they're kind of hoping for the, the lucky score. Nope. Not to be. So we get shadow, which is no good to us. So we'll keep, 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 keep. Hmm. We want to keep too many cards. Now the funny thing about the source is it's actually given us the Atlas token uh, because we had to. And could they light it into a load of uh, snares? Nope. There's one. Bounce is the price act. Okay. And we'll put the Atlas into server one. Let's get rid of you, you, and you. I'm very glad we didn't get rid of the agenda into the archives. Okay, and we will close it out. So a smoother game that time around. Um, so I fear I probably should put up the other game just as a, a balance to show you what not to do against Leela. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it and thank you for watching.